Mr. President, why are you losing to Trump in the polls? Boom! Motorcade mishap. We were getting live news. We, we break news on our live stream, thanks to Sarcastic Wench. When this happened last night, I was sitting there going, did this already happen? I don't like constantly crash into this dude's motorcade. Well, it happened again last night. And what's very interesting about this entire situation is the very lethargic reaction to an explosion, to a car accident, to a car crunch, a loud bang, in the near vicinity of the dude who's supposed to be the president and all of the diversity hire, I guess, Secret Service. Listen, you got one or two options over here. This is the world's worst Secret Service and they full of fucking D-I-E or D-E-I, whatever the fucking acronym is that you dumb assholes are using for hiring people based on their skin color and their sexual orientation. And so they're walking Joe Biden out and then there's a boom! And then all the Secret Service go, what is that? What is that? Is that a non-binary gender fluid bang? No. Something's going down. Oh. Oh, well, we we better get the kid diddler inside the SUV over here. And then they very fucking, 10 minutes later, they move him into the thing. It's crazy. So either they're inept or if I was Joe Biden's crackhead, cokehead fucking son, I'd be very worried because maybe the regime has no more uses for Joe Biden and they have told the Secret Service, don't worry about it. I mean, this is insane. All of your protection go out the window if your daddy's not in the Oval Office, Hunter. So maybe you should be a little bit concerned. Joe Biden don't know what fucking planet he's on. So he's like, huh? Is it tapioca time? There's a big explosion over there. Pieces of car all over the place. Maybe maybe you should be slightly concerned. How are you this fucking out of it? So we got video of all of this, by the way. Here's InfoWars. Uh, car crashes into Biden's motorcade. It took, it, it, took them, it, it took them a good solid 30 seconds to recognize what was even happening. Now, 30 seconds to you and me doesn't seem like a lot of time because, you know, we're not under threats of assassination. But 30, when your job is to be Secret Service or a bodyguard, your, your entire job revolves around security, 30 seconds is a fucking eternity. And so when, when you are walking the presumed president out and then there's a big fucking bang you should immediately put that dude in the fucking thing they're like oh well, that <laughs> that's just incredibly telling car smashed into one of the suvs in joe biden's motorcade as the u.s resident was leaving his campaign head he's got campaign headquarters <laughs> guy, really he hasn't done any motherfucking campaigning Record, record low approval rating. This is the lowest approval rating he's ever had. He's in Jimmy Carter territory. His kid's been indicted nine times in a spiraling, sprawling criminal family syndicate racket breakdown. 70 plus percent of Democrat voters don't want Joe Biden to run. And the dude is doing zero campaigning it's good because he's going to steal an election again. That's the entire plan over here. And so I guess when you can just print ballots up and flip ballots and adjudicate votes and algorithm votes and run ballots in the middle of the fucking night in an empty fucking arena because of a water main break, don't question it or we'll sue you for $150 million. I guess you ain't got to do too much politicking, boys. But anyway, apparently he does have a campaign headquarters, and he was leaving it, and he was getting heckled by the press. It's finally, here's the uh, the press goes, why are you losing to the polls? And Joe Biden goes, I'm sorry, what about the Christmas Kane Festivus polls? No. No, fuck, no, no. Nobody likes you. 
Even the Democrats hate you, you fucking moron. I can't, oh, uh, you're looking at like... Everybody loves me. Nobody loves you. Nobody loves you. Your wife don't love you. Nobody loves you. Dipshit. Fucking creep. And as he's being asked these questions, you hear a big old boom. A big old alakablamo, boys. Alakablamo. And everybody stands around like, oh. What was that? What was that? Old man goofball shit himself again? Seems quieter than normal when he shits himself. No, no, no. That was a car accident down there. Somebody might be ramming the motorcade. They might. Be, somebody's ramming the motorcade. They. It might be. It might be on purpose. I mean, holy fuck. Huh? Uh, that was the sexual orientation of that car that just ran into our gender fluid SUV. It doesn't make any sense. So, um, there you go. There was uh, no protective interest associated with the event, which means that the Secret Service believes the crash was unintentional. Okay, but if you're relying on Joe Biden to keep you out of president, I'm talking to you, Hunter McSniffles over there, uh, you should be concerned. Oh, why nobody, the, the lethargic response to protecting your daddy. And the rest of us should take note that, holy shit, <laughs> Why is that response so slow? What is going on? What is what is the plan here? What is going on? So we'll see if anybody, if anything comes of this. I doubt it. We'll just kind of move on, which, boy. Boy, very interesting. Very interesting happenings. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support channel. You want to keep up to date. On the Secret Service, kind of not caring about explosions around their president? Just fucking fascinating. Hit that subscribe button and make way. Because the salt must flow.